evening, viewers of YouTube. My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto, and if this is your first time here, grab a beer, crack it open, and relax, because it's time for Crypto and a Cold One. Today's featured brewski is supplied by community member Dirk, and it is Kirsch Porter out of Germany. And he said this is one I probably won't like either. It's a cherry porter, I guess. Woo, that's weird. So today I have a sponsored video for you and the terms of our agreement can be found in the description of this video. Also, if you enjoyed the project and today's content, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Chico Crypto and join the chat on Telegram, t.me slash Chico Crypto One. It may not look like it on the surface, but we are entering a fourth industrial revolution. Slowly, we are fusing the physical, digital, and biological worlds. Computers went from being on desks at home to in our pockets or our hands at all times. Humans are creating data that can be captured by the devices. And this isn't limited to our computers or phones. TVs, cars, appliances, home lighting, and HVAC systems can all be connected to the internet and data from them can be extracted. It is estimated by 2020, the average person will generate 1.5 gigabytes of data per day. And with the rise of AI, computational demands and storage will need to significantly increase to keep up. That is why cloud computing extended to fog computing in 2012 to keep up with the demand of IoT. Fog computing enables computing services to reside at the edge of the network as opposed to servers and data centers. Enter Constellation Labs, who is taking it one step further and is building a platform which is focusing on edge computing. Edge computing is actual data storage and computational processes on a global network of microcomputers connected through Constellation's microservices. Now, they are not looking to disrupt or even take out the big guys like Amazon Web Services or Google Drive, but work alongside them by allowing enterprise organizations the ability to toggle between existing infrastructure and the Constellation network. The end goal of Constellation is to create a decentralized application integration platform, ushering in the next generation of applications. How will this be achieved? Through the suite of Constellation tech and the Constellation ecosystem. Let's begin with the Constellation network. The network consists of interconnected sets of nodes that exist in hierarchical clustering-like topology. These nodes can be a phone, computer, or high-performing server. The type is not crucial, as long as there's storage capacity and bandwidth. There is a role for every type of device within the Constellation network. Each node, of course, has a certain amount of bandwidth and storage it can provide to the network, but also there is network-imposed score that is out of their control and is decided by certain factors and calibrated by the community. This is called proof of meme, which is a node's reputation score. The network can be visualized as layers of reputation, with lower rep nodes being the outermost edges and the highest rep nodes being the core. Reputation is decided by an autonomous machine learning algorithm and considers the availability of the node, integrity of the node, and the history of the nodes when adding to the data structure. Trust between nodes is another layer of reputation used in the network. Nodes can declare trust to other nodes. A trust flow is created in the network, and reputation is not only decided by global parameters, but relative to other nodes in the network. This makes an extended trust chain, which is an architecture that implements multiple node types, each with their own responsibility and role in the network to govern different aspects of the protocol. There will be standard star nodes, checkpoint nodes, and validator nodes. Each node operates as an account and maintains the history of its own chain and relies upon transaction order for validity. The network uses directed acyclic graph, or a DAG, as its core data structure, and uses the reputation talked about above for consensus, called proof of meme. Combined, this is called the high-low chain consensus architecture. Let's visualize how this all works by going through a transaction. Say I want to send a transaction. My device would be a star node, and the transaction would be recorded on my node's local ledger. Second, the transaction is signed by the initiator, me, and the counterparty, then broadcasted to the network via a gossip protocol. Checkpoint nodes process the pooling transactions. Third, the message gets officially pulled with other gossip messages into a local transaction pool. Fourth, a star cluster is formed of stars who are elected to take part in the consensus from a locality-sensitive hash block. 
It forms a box by agreeing on all the transactions and the order in which they occurred within the transaction pool, and they hash it onto a hash block belonging to that locale. As these locality-sensitive blocks are gossiped upwards, they are pulled into transaction pools on higher tiers, called galaxy tier pools. But first, checkpoint nodes process the pulling of the transaction. A galaxy cluster then forms consensus by agreeing on all the transactions and the ordering to form the black hole block. They also add the hash of the previous black hole block, basically blocks in a blockchain through DAG data structures which gossip. They extend this out by dynamic partitioning that continuously updates the network consensus structure to be the most efficient. The network allows tiering or layering of nodes, which we discussed earlier. Intermediate tiers are added based on reputation or proof of meme and are tied to validator rewards. The upward tiering allows for theoretically infinite scaling as the network doesn't stagnate with additional nodes joining the network. When a new node joins a network, they have to of course build up their reputation and trust to move up in the meme score, thus becoming a validator in a cluster. But nodes who have been in the network for a while and built up a score have a ceiling on their meme score, which allows the new nodes to effectively attain a meme score that is equal to theirs. This fights centralization. Now to the token DAG and the utility of the token. In the Constellation ecosystem, anyone can access the network for free, but there is a rate limit on throughput that is free. If an application grows and needs more throughput on the network, they need to achieve this in two ways by buying DAG on the open market and spending them, or by hosting a node on the Constellation network. By hosting, validating, and helping the network, they gain reputation points. These reputation points can be spent to increase throughput. Thus, it can be concluded that reputation points are equivalent to DAG in some form. These reputation points add access to the network for developers. Adding to the infrastructure of the network or providing a service, you get a freemium model. So, from an enterprise consumer perspective, DAG tokens equal throughput. From a validating node operator perspective, transaction validation equals reputation points. And from a developer perspective, reputation points equal throughput, which equals mitigated DAG costs. Now, it needs to be mentioned that these reputation points are not a currency and are not transferable. They are connected to an address of a node or group of nodes and only can be used for increasing throughput. Now, Constellation isn't all hype and no product. They have a functioning testnet, which you can see transactions going through right now. Through this testnet, they proved 1K TPS on very basic computers, single processor of 500 megabytes and an old CPU, and it clocked out the CPU at 25% load. This proves how lightweight running a node is. CPU usage is near idle. This proves they will be able to get nodes running on mobile phones, printers, and devices everywhere. The final piece I would like to highlight is Orion, a developer and community portal. This is a hub that serves as the foundational source of information for all things that relate to the Constellation network. Support, marketing material, bounty, campaigns, or developer documentation, it all lives within Orion. To begin, there is the free access, and this anyone can take part in. This gains you the key features as seen here. Now, there are membership levels within Orion, and by staking DAG tokens, you'll gain membership access to the portal on two different levels. Community is the first level, which requires 250 DAG tokens to stake, and gains access to bonus features like incentivized community job board and incentivized community support. Developer is the second level, and this gains you access to features like the App Developer Marketplace, Core Dev Team Discord access, and priority chat support. Well, viewers, this is looking like an interesting take on the DAG structure, and through their reputation, they are taking the centralized structure out of DAGs, which IOTA and Hedera Hashgraph are facing as we speak. The team is proud of what they have built, and will have a demo out next year that will articulate some of the benefits more than I can, like not needing an Oracle service, such as Chainlink on Ethereum and other blockchains like Hyperledger and Bitcoin. The protocol won't just validate transactions, it can validate any kind of data, so it can natively connect with existing systems. The new year will be something to behold for this project. Cheers, and as always, I'll see you next time.